Come on, let's sing it one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 For a God raised. Come on, one more time. So I want to go to this side. Can I have you say amen on this side? Amen. Can I have you say amen on the other side? Amen. Why don't you join and say amen, everybody? Amen. Hallelujah. Today is really a good day. Yeah. Number one, the weather is so nice. Yeah. It's not a time for us to sweat. Are you feeling hot or you are feeling cool? Tell your neighbor, chillax. Because I'm in the presence of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, in case you didn't know what she last means, it means chill and relax. So tell your neighbor, chillax and feel free. There's no stress. Hallelujah. Well, I want to end up into a moment prayer. And um, today, everybody's voice is going to be heard by God. Except those sitting down. I didn't know, I didn't want to say it, but I mean, I don't know. The Bible says we should stand and pray, you know. Stand and pray. So I don't know why you are sitting at this time. Is your neighbor still sitting down? Hallelujah. Well, God has been so good to all of us. And um, we want to spend time. Yeah, Mark eleven twenty five. And when ye stand, praying. And when you stand, so if, you are, if your neighbor is sitting down, tell your neighbor, just for the sake of this verse, try and stand. Because you don't know what is behind this verse. And when you stand praying, forgive. Hey, not sitting down. Can I have an amen from somebody? Amen. Can I have young men say amen? Amen. Can I have young ladies say amen? Amen. Who over here believes that today when you pray, God will hear your prayers? Wow, all of us believe that is a good thing. So, um, like I was saying, God has been so good to all of us. And um, um, we have to come to the Lord with a very thankful heart and always give him the praise that is due him. The Bible says that because they will not regard the works of my hands, I will send a curse upon their blessings. You know, to be alive is a blessing. And not to give God thanks it's a sign that you are ungrateful, you know. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operations of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. But today he shall be built up. 
I said today you shall be built up. Oh, I'm not saying amen. I said today you shall be built up. So what do we have to do and what is expected of us than to say thank you to the Lord? It's very powerful. Two most important words which should never live your life is thank you. Whether to God, to your pastor, to your parents. And by the way, happy Mother's Day to all mothers. Not those who are yet to be mothers who are carrying babies. I'm saying mothers, please. And also, we want to spend time and give God thanks. And um, he will hear us and he will answer us. Lift your hands with me to heaven. And um, get off your phone. Put your phone aside. Put it on flight mode. Anywhere that you want to put it. And concentrate on the Lord. And give him thanks. So for just one minute, I want us all to lift our hands and our voices. Everybody in the house of the living God. Let us begin to talk to God. Let us begin to appreciate the goodness of the Lord. What is needed is your voice right now. If only you can lift your hands with me to heaven, come on. And lift your own voice and begin to say thank you to the Lord. Yeah. 
God for his presence and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands with me to heaven, everybody. And begin to ask God for the Holy Spirit. Ask him for his presence. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It is real. God can pour out his Holy Spirit upon us in his own house. God can engrace us with his Holy Spirit in his own house. But that will require your asking him. The Bible says that though we are evil, when we ask him for the Holy Spirit, he will give it us. God will give us the Holy Spirit. When we ask him for the Holy Spirit, when we ask him for the Holy Spirit, is somebody opening his or her mouth and asking God for the Holy Spirit? Come on, lift your voice. Ask him for the influence and the outpouring of the mighty Holy Spirit. Yes, come on, 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 come on. A service without the presence of the Holy Spirit is not the same as a service with the presence of the Holy Spirit. But you can invite the Holy Spirit into this service this morning. Come on, go ahead. In your own words, ask him. Ask God to give you the Holy Spirit. If he then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Holy Spirit is given to the people who ask him. Somebody ask God for the Holy Spirit right now. Ask God for the Holy Spirit right now. Ask him for the Holy Spirit right now. Ask him for the Holy Spirit right now. The influence of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. The presence of the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Holy Spirit. The move of the Holy Spirit. The waves of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, somebody is asking God for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And you are changing the service. You are changing the service. You are changing the service. Praise. 